Thanks for tuning in to our Mullet Mustang series presented by Turn 14 Distribution. It's time to fix the uh, slop in our shifter here. That's not neutral everybody, that's in gear. We're going to fix that with a Roush short shifter kit. literally nothing worse in the world than ripping hot laps in a car where you're just not sure what gear you're selecting and this thing has so much play in the shifter bushings that making that that two three shift I always found it like hey, am I going into first am I going into fifth I don't know so we're finally gonna fix that problem and our solution is this very nicely built cast aluminum short shifter kit from Roush with this optional billet shifter arm and very cool kind of retro-ish shift knob. Yeah, that's my favorite piece. I like it a lot. So the, the, the standard shifter kit comes with a shorter arm that you reuse your uh, stock shift knob on. And so it looks OE when it's in the car. You would never know that there was a, a short shifter kit installed. We've gone with this one. So you'll see the billet arm sticking up with the knob on it. So it should, I think, raise the ride height of the, the shifter when it's installed. We'll find out shortly. So I guess step one, Pete, is maybe to just yank this crappy old shift knob out of here. What do you think? Yeah, if you can manage that. Without like tearing I'll, uh, the boot, I'll maybe? take care of all the work underneath. Yeah, see? Pete lets me uh, do some work every once in a while. And it seems like it might be coming off. Or that, it's just spinning. In it the, might just be spinning on yeah. there. It, this does have a tendency to spin while you're shifting on the racetrack too. So, oh, there we go. Now that we've got this uh, flaccid, floppy shift knob here, Pete, I think it's time we just Pop the boot right off the tunnel. And you can we see go. It's, uh, the boot has seen better days. We should have ordered a new eh, boot. That's okay. That's uh, maybe a new job for another day. And I guess we need to remove all that peel rubber. Pull the boot back. There, there we go. you go. Look at that. Huh. That boot's actually in good shape. Good thing, because no we can be reusing it. Yeah, no problem to reuse that. It looks like it's gonna be a much easier job than I expected under here. We have one bolt holding the front side of the shifter in place and two nuts in the back. With that out, we should be able to kind of wiggle this whole setup out of here. Roush mentions that uh, you can actually leave the drive shaft in. I was a little bit worried that we'd have to drop it, but let's see how this goes. Come on. Oh no. Sure. Oh no, the Collector Edition Speed Academy sweatshirt, it's been hurt. Uh, sweatshirt I I down. Something else. You know these are running out of, uh, well they, these don't exist anymore, they're priceless. They are priceless. Oh, God, man. You're gonna have to go to the hoodies. Well, it looks like I uh, screwed up. There is one more bolt that actually holds the shifter assembly on that I forgot to mention. So I'm removing that right now. Once that's out, we should be able to drop this whole assembly. Like a boss, PT, like a boss. It's a good thing I put those safety glasses on you. Oh, I know. Your girlfriend can oh, thank you for you that later. Oh, and you know what? It's a nut, not a bolt. Oh. Double fail on my part. Well, it's official. You can't remove the shifter here with the arm attachment that runs, like I said, right directly to the transmission. Uh, linkage and I feel like you got to remove this rear mount which is just a rubber mount but it's causing me a whole lot of grief so I'm gonna pull that one off as well uh -huh. oh something fell on the ground there that's what I was removing what is that guy so that's that rear mount I'll show you how this all works and goes together once I get this damn thing out of here but now we've got some room to work with. Here we go. It's like a game of chess. My God. And uh, I'm almost, yeah. It's gonna go through the top. Yeah? Yeah, now it is. There we go. <laughs> All right, it's out through the top. So Roush says you can pull it through the bottom. You can or you can remove that rear mount here and slide it through the top. Either way works. I just figured I would do the way that's working for me. Look at how dirty he is, everybody. Oh, well, the dirt is all worth it. There's our shifter. 
And uh, yeah, it's kind of a simple contraption. Look at all it this is. stamped steel. Yeah. Gotta get rid of this. Gotta put something proper in there. That's right. All that clay. Ridiculous. Good thing that I actually took this arm off because the plastic bushing that holds it in place onto the actual mechanism on the transmission, which allows you to shift gears, as you can see, is absolutely destroyed, which is where there's so much of the play. You can see it on this side as well, that it's worn out. It's starting to wear through. This one's about to fail. This is what a healthy one looks like. So you can see that's a condition you want it to be in, not that. We just got off the phone with the Ford dealership and of course they don't sell these plastic bushings. They sell you the entire shifter assembly for $450 and we're definitely not buying that just to get a couple of plastic bushings. So we're going to look into alternatives here. Stita sells uh, some metal ones which we're looking at purchasing right now. So without further ado, I had to press this bushing in off of the stock shifter and we're going to reuse the mount on the back side, but I'm gonna put this in afterwards because I have a feeling if I put this on right now, it's not gonna fit back up into the chassis. Put everything apart here without having a long shifter on. This thing slides right up. There you go, and into place. Would you look at that? So now, I'm gonna put our wonderful bracket on here. And start bolting everything up. All right, that's tight. Well, this is part of the shifter install done here. Like I said, we're just missing that linkage arm, but let's go up top, finish the shifter install off up there. One of the final steps here is to install our Roush extended shift lever with, of course, our sweet looking Roush knob. And you can already tell we're gonna be sitting pretty with this thing, much higher than stock, which is gonna be pretty awesome. Roush also does supply this sweet little rubber grommet here that's gonna hold our, oh no. Oh. You put the knob on too soon, bro. Jump the knob. Never jump the knob, bro. Damn it, and I tightened it too. Never oh. jump and tighten the knob too soon. Much better, now this fits. And before I go actually securing it into place, what I'm gonna do is move this rubber grommet up here and then slide the leather shifter right in like that. There we go, now I can Pop this down and slide it downwards. Man, I'm liking that already. That's looking clean. It does look good. Let's go like that. Get my wrench on there. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. We've got ourselves a sweet shifter. I can already tell you, I like it a thousand times better than the factory one, even though it's not hooked up. Speaking of which, let's jump back to that. Bad news, we cannot find these shifter bushings online at all. Stita makes a set for the actual shift lever side, but not for the transmission side. So I've gone ahead and jerry-rigged this. I, I guess the Hager Garage guys would be happy with me. This is some aluminum tape, and I've wrapped it around here just for the time being until we can find a suitable solution. So let's put this back in and see if that shifter actually works. Pete's installed the shift linkage now, so it's time to do a quick test drive and see how our Roush shifter feels. Just giving it the old in-gear wobble test here, and it's actually got a lot less slop in it than it did before, so I think Pete's aluminum tape uh, repair job has helped a little bit. Yeah, it'll hold off for now. We'll see how long that lasts. But I will tell you that the throws are way shorter. Uh, we're talking half maybe 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 even more than half or less than half the, i think the, the, the official reduction is 45 percent. Okay. i could be wrong but okay. i think that's what the website said oh, it shows you my calibration was pretty close there there you half. go yeah so, yeah it does feel really short it also has a really nice positive feel when you go from gate to gate it feels like the gates are better defined so i think that's a pretty encouraging deal and 
I like the position of the shift knob too. It's definitely up higher. I would say it's maybe what three, four inches higher than the stock knob was, which just falls to hand more easily off off of the steering wheel. We do need to get the steering wheel out of the dash though a bit. I think it's a bit too We're working far on it. Me, yeah, but we'll get that tuned in. Anyway, so far I think the rough shifter is a win. It'll be interesting to go for a rip at the racetrack and really see how it feels when you're driving really aggressively. But just uh, cruising around here on the mean streets of Hamilton, it feels good. It feels really good. Well, that wraps yet another Mullet Mustang episode supported by Turn 14 Distribution. Make sure to check them out because they definitely help this project be a possibility. Yeah, and if you, wanna, if you wanna help us make more videos, then jump over onto our Shopify page, buy some hats, some t-shirts, some stickers. That all helps fund what we're doing too. So uh, thanks for the support on that. And I guess uh, the next episode of the Mustang, we're getting close to maybe going back to the track. It won't be the next episode. We're gonna make a bit more power first, but the track season's coming soon, PT. Very, very soon. There's snow in the forecast, but soon we're going to the track, people, soon. It's off the shift lever. I can maybe uh, poke it through the hole in the leather here if you want to see Ooh, that. It's so Pete, limp all of a sudden. It did get kind of limp, didn't it? This car needs some Viagra.